Voyager 1, the legendary spacecraft launched in 1977, is still pushing through space after more than four decades. The outer planets, but it has defied all expectations, traveling more than 23 billion kilometers from Earth. Its journey has taken it past Jupiter, Saturn, and finally out of the solar system, into a region no spacecraft has ever reached before. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause in 2012, it became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. The heliopause is the boundary where the solar wind, charged particles from the sun, meets the cold, dark expanse beyond. Scientists once thought this region would be quiet and still, but Voyager 1 has detected strange and unexpected activity that has shocked researchers. Instead of silence, the spacecraft has recorded fluctuations in the magnetic field. These magnetic pulses seem to but it's not. Something is interfering with the edges of our solar system, causing energy and vibrations that don't follow known laws of physics. This raises a deep and intriguing question, what's out there? Some scientists think these fluctuations might be echoes from deep space, or even energy streams from other parts of the galaxy. It's as if the galaxy is pushing back against the solar system, creating ripples along the heliosphere, the massive bubble that surrounds and protects all the planets. One possibility is that a mysterious force or energy stream is pressing against the solar system from the outside. This energy might come from a distant star or an unknown cosmic source. If true, this means the universe is far more interconnected than we believed. There may be invisible bridges of energy that link stars and planets over unimaginable distances. The idea of these cosmic currents isn't science fiction anymore. Scientists are now exploring the concept of a galactic energy grid, a network that connects systems across space. Voyager 1 might be giving us the first evidence of such a structure. Dr. Ed Stone, former project scientist for Voyager, once said, we are seeing something we never thought we'd be able to witness. Though Voyager 1 was built in the 1970s with limited instruments, it's still providing invaluable data from the edge of known space. Its signals are faint but clear, and they continue to deliver clues about the nature of interstellar space. The spacecraft has become a messenger from beyond, transmitting information from a realm untouched by any other mission. Some scientists now believe that the heliopause is not just a passive boundary, but an active frontier, responding to influences beyond the sun's control. A your dark matter might be interacting with the edge of the solar system. Dr. Marav Ofer, a heliophysics expert, has suggested that the heliosphere might behave like a comet, shaped by external pressures, with a long tail stretching behind the sun. These insights have sparked excitement across the scientific community. Dr. Jim Green, former NASA chief scientist, stated, Voyager 1 is helping us discover that space isn't as empty as we thought. It's filled with structure, energy, and possibly more. And then there's the question of life. Could these strange forces be a sign? While no one is claiming proof, even cautious researchers admit the signals raise possibilities that can't be ignored. If we don't understand the energy at the edge of our system, one astrophysicist noted, we can't rule out anything, not even life. Elon Musk has shown a deep interest in Voyager 1's findings. He believes the data could inspire new breakthroughs in deep space travel. Musk sees Voyager 1 as proof that we are only scratching the surface of the cosmic landscape. Voyager's discoveries make it clear, he tweeted, that the universe is still full of surprises. By Voyager's longevity and performance, some engineers are now designing new spacecraft capable of leaving the solar system even faster. These missions could build on Voyager's legacy and explore neighboring star systems. It's not just a dream anymore. It's part of a growing scientific vision. Voyager 1's ongoing success also speaks to the durability of older technology. Despite its age, its radio signals still reach Earth, thanks to the Deep Space Network, a collection of massive antennas around the world. These signals take over 22 hours to arrive, yet they're still full of meaningful data. The spacecraft's power supply, which uses plutonium-200, when needed, allowing Voyager 1 to keep functioning in the coldest and darkest part of space. 
Interestingly, Voyager has also captured the attention of philosophers and thinkers. The Golden Record, attached to Carl Sagan, who helped design it, called Voyager, a bottle launched into the cosmic ocean. Now, more than four decades later, that bottle is still drifting, still broadcasting. And the ocean is looking deeper, stranger, and more full of mystery than we ever imagined. As we continue to study Voyager 1's findings, more discoveries keep emerging. New data hints at shock waves from past supernovas, rippling through into supports the idea that our solar system exists in a dynamic environment, constantly shaped by forces beyond our sun. Some researchers suggest we're only beginning to grasp the true shape and size of the heliosphere. It's not a perfect sphere, it may be a squashed, twisted bubble shaped by magnetic fields and interstellar winds. This has huge implications for space weather, shielding planets from radiation, and even the potential for habitability in other systems. Voyager 1 is not just a mission, it's a cosmic scout, the farthest explorer we've ever launched. It proves that with ingenuity and persistence, it's alive with motion, sound, and surprise. And there's more. A recent discovery from Voyager's magnetometer showed a sudden spike in plasma density. This isn't something that should happen in interstellar space, which was believed to be largely empty. So where is this extra plasma coming from? Sure. It could be a leftover shockwave, or something completely new, a sign that the interstellar medium itself is changing. NASA scientists continue to analyze the data, and each answer leads to more questions. Voyager 1 teaches us that discovery is a chain reaction. One unexpected finding opens the door to dozens more. It's why space exploration continues to be one of the most ex Well, plans for future missions inspired by Voyager are already underway. Projects like the Interstellar Probe, proposed by NASA, aim to travel much farther and faster, possibly reaching 1,000 astronomical units. Oh, from the Sun, five times farther than Voyager 1's current distance. Scientists like Dr. Stamatios Crimagus believe such missions could reveal the true shape of travel. He says, we need to follow where Voyager 1 has led. It opened a door, and now we must walk through it. Voyager 1's story is a reminder of what humans can achieve. Built with 1970s technology, launched with analog systems and magnetic tape, it still sends messages across the cosmos, messages that redefine our understanding of space, matter, and the unknown. We live on a tiny planet orbiting an average star in a modest galaxy, but Voyager shows us that from small beginnings can come the greatest journeys. Its signals remind us that we are connected, to each other, to our star, and to the universe beyond. One day, we may look back. just collect data, it lit a path forward. Its signals may fade, but its legacy will echo forever in science, exploration, and our deepest curiosity. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.